If you would like to find out more about our Mighty Hawk Band, you can check out the band website at www.redoakband.com. This month, we welcome back our crime reporter, Natalie Hillary, as she brings us the final details on the new drug testing policy for extracurricular activities next year. Nat? That's right, Rachel and Christian. In one of the most meaningful votes in the years, the Red Oak ISD Board of Trustees voted 5-0 to implement random drug testing for all extracurricular activities beginning in the 2004-2005 school year. As we reported last month, the program is being done at several schools across the United States as an incentive for students to stay drug and alcohol free. The board heard one for and one against the proposal at the meeting in April, but voted unanimously to support the recommendation for drug testing. The policy will officially take place the first day of school for the 2004-2005 school year. Students are being encouraged now to seek help if they believe they have a drug problem. Students who need help can contact the counselor's office for referrals to drug treatment. The administration hopes that students will take this opportunity to help themselves so that no one has to fail a drug test and thus no one will have to give up the extracurricular activities they love. It is clear that Red Oak ISD has made a stance that our school should be an example to others, that our athletes and others involved in extracurricular activities should be drug free and pure in body and mind when representing our school. While some may not agree with drug testing, it is clear that we all now have one big reason to keep ourselves from doing drugs, which can and have ruined many others' lives. If you or your parents would like more information on drug testing, you may contact Mr. Shutman, who will be the official testing coordinator. I'm Natalie Hillary, reporting for Hawkeye News.